Super Smash Bros. is one of the best crossover series of all time, and I'm pretty sure we can all agree on that. And the reason for the series' status, other than the stage's music and other forms of blatant fan service, is the characters. Some of the most iconic video game characters of all time, Nintendo or otherwise, have been featured in Super Smash Bros. as playable fighters, so I'm going to tell you, plebs, the 10 best of those characters, based on how fun they are to play as and how iconic they are to gaming history. Number 10, Ice Climbers. The Ice Climbers were first included in Super Smash Bros. Melee after their first and only game, Ice Climber, was released for the NES. While Popo and Nana may not be too iconic, in fact, I'm pretty sure there are plenty of kids who only know Popo and Nana as the SMOs from Smash Bros. Because they're idiots. Apparently, they have a huge following. Check out all these reactions from Nintendo fans after the Ice Climbers were confirmed for Smash Ultimate. Okay, but seriously, why are these guys so excited? I, I'm, I'm sorry, I'm, but I'm just kind of confused. If the Ice Climb is really that exciting, I, 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 I don't. Number 9, Waluigi. <laughs> so, as of me writing and reading off this script, Waluigi is still just an assist trophy. However, I believe Waluigi is still eligible for a spot on the roster. So just put Waluigi in Smash Bros. Ultimate, Sakurai! You can make his moveset out of things he did in the sports games, the Mario Party games, and first Final Smash, you can just make it so he kills everybody with his dancing, because remember the dumb DDR Mario game? Just do it, Nintendo! Number 8, Mario. This one's a no-brainer. Mario is one of the most iconic characters of all time. More kids know him than they know Mickey Flippin' Mouse. And how could you not know who Mario is? After all, he's in some of the most iconic video games of all time, like Mario Teaches Typing and New Super Mario Bros. 2, which is the 3DS one in case you forgot. Unfortunately, Mario doesn't have that good of a moveset, with the most exciting things being a fireball and flood. But I don't care! I already put him at number 8, and I'm too lazy to come up with ways to justify his conclusion. Besides, you can't argue with New Super Mario Bros. 2. Number 7, Bayonetta. Honestly, I put Bayonetta on the list just to rant about how she shouldn't be in the game. First of all, why did I need to replace Bayonetta the whole time? Secondly, my Catholic parents won't let me place her because, well, she's in possession of guns, and guns are violent. Thirdly, she stole Waluigi's spot that he deserved! Sakurai! Just put Waluigi in Smash! Number 6, Mewtwo. Not only is Mewtwo a legendary Pokemon, not only is Mewtwo a Gen 1 Pokemon, which is the best generation and the only generation with cool Pokemon, but Mewtwo is also super powerful. He can crush people's minds, he has weird purple magic, I think, and he almost killed all the Pokemon and people in the first Pokemon movie. In fact, Mewtwo is capable of destroying the planet. In an interview with the creator of Pokemon, Shigeru Miyamoto, I asked him, So, what would have happened if Mewtwo won? And he said, the original idea for the ending was for Mewtwo to commit mass genocide on the entire population of the planet after he killed Ash, Pikachu, and the other guys. We altered the ending because we wanted to milk the Pokemon franchise and make as much money as possible. By the way, you can pre-order Pokemon. Let's go Pikachu! Number 5, Marth. Marth is objectively one of the best fighters in Smash history, at least according to tier list. He, and I mean he, he's not a girl or gay, he's a dude. It, I know it's hard to believe, but j just roll with it. Uh, anyway. He has quick yet elegant attacks and represents what used to be a more niche Nintendo franchise, which is Fire Emblem. The series didn't even make its way to the West until the GBA game, which didn't even release until a little over a year after Melee's release. Marth, and also Roy, but we're not talking about him yet, may have been the snowflake that started the giant snowball that is the modern day Fire Emblem series, in North America at least. If that isn't a reason to include him on the list, then I don't know what is. Number 4, Lucina. Lucina is objectively one of the best fighters in Smash history, at least according to tier lists. She has quick yet elegant attacks, and represents what used to be a more niche Nintendo franchise, which is Fire Emblem. The series didn't truly take off, in America at least, until Awakening on the 3DS. Lucina, and also Roy, but we're not talking about him, may have been the snowflake that started the giant snowball that is the modern day franchise of Fire Emblem, in North America at least. That isn't a reason to include her on the list of- Number 3, Sand. 
Sans as a Smash Bros character has a bit of a weird presence. His popularity didn't truly kick off until MatPat of Game Theory made a controversial video claiming that Sans was Papyrus from the acclaimed SNES game Earthbound. This was confirmed to be false by Toby Fox, creator of Undertale, as two days after MatPat posted the video he tweeted, Sans is not NES, but in fact Sans from Super Smash Bros for the Wii U and 3DS. Believe me, my dad works at Nintendo, so I know what's what. Later that week, MatPat made an update video claiming that Papyrus was actually Sans from Earthbound, which absolutely skyrocketed Ness's popularity in Super Smash Bros. This theory, of course, was also proven false, and it was just a publicity stunt to boost Game Theory's view and subscriber count. Not only did it boost MatPat's online ego, it also boosted Smash Bros. players' interest in Sans. Oh, and Earthbound is pretty good, so that's why he's on the list. Number 2. Inkling. I like the Inklings because I can finally splat all over my favorite waifus. Before we get to the final and all-time greatest Smash Bros. character of all time, I like to give a few of my honorable mentions. In a game series with over 500 characters, it's inevitable that a few fighters were going to be left off the list. With that said, my honorable mentions are... Ike Roy Robin Corrin and Krom so with that being said, my number one favorite Smash Bros. character of all time is... Number one... Richter. This guy needs no explanation. Without a doubt, Richter from Castlevania... Um... Rondo of Blood, aka the best Castlevania, probably is the greatest Smash Bros. character, and the greatest video game character ever made. Um, he's an Echo Fighter of Simon Belmont. Uh, he has a whip, and that's kind of cool. Uh, he's Christian, so that's kind of cool. He's got holy water and stuff, so he's probably Christian. Uh, he has hair? 